Dear friends, tomorrow we will finish this terrible year 2020. Uh, it, it is, you remember, a year of lockdown, uh, global pandemics, uh, no concerts, no uh, art exhibitions, nearly, <laughs> and uh, other uh, t terrible things. And uh, I would like to address this situation that is not just of the past, but also of the future in a way. Uh, I would uh, like to give uh, some uh, larger context uh, to it. I believe that it is not possible to understand what goes on on the planet and with us without considering of uh, Earth changes, which means that uh, we are together with the Earth, uh, uh, entangled in a basic change. It is a cosmic change, change of cycles. What was before does not exist anymore, and what comes does also not exist anymore. It, it is incoming. It is we are in uh, between uh, two, two banks of a river. Uh, jumping from one to the other side. Uh, and the, <clears throat> in this uh, uh, context, it is possible to understand that uh, something like the, the COVID uh, lockdown and, and pandemia um, is uh, one a chapter uh, in a process that started, let us say, 20 years ago, and there were different uh, phases to it, different catastrophes uh, happened, uh, and we, we must learn to navigate um, among these uh, events that are tragical on one side, but also uh, opening paths towards the future, because the old um, needs a, a way how to uh, end and uh, go to the past and the, the new six ways to, to express. Um, the, the change that is going on uh, basically is the, the change that we are moving from the one one world. We are like in, in a bubble of a materialist world and we consider um, in general that this is the only reality that exists. We are moving now towards becoming part of a greater uh, whole that I co call cluster of parallel worlds. The Earth is not just the world that we know, but has developed uh, different worlds on uh, uh, different frequency levels, let us say. I call this a cluster of Earth's world, a, a group of worlds that are interconnected and uh, capable to, to communicate among them. Uh, this is not the case with, with us. Uh, we are still uh, thinking and believing that this is the world that is our materialized world and we are um, like lost uh, in the, this, uh, we are closed. The, the um, pandemia and the uh, lockdown is a perfect image, a perfect image of how we are. We are locked down in, in a world that cannot exist by, by itself. We just believe that it can exist. Uh, so to, to uh, come out of this situation, I think it's important, uh, or maybe it's the only way, to open to what I call parallel worlds. This uh, started with me uh, in the beginning of the 90s when I had to open my perception to the world of elemental beings. Elemental beings are those 
units of uh, Gaia consciousness that make possible that um, matrix patterns uh, of uh, the, the living earth be translated into forms of life. Trees, human beings, mountains, uh, etc. It, it took quite a while till I understood that uh, microorganisms are a manifestation of elemental beings, ele uh, which means that everything that exists on different le levels of existence finds also a way how to manifest on the physical, uh, materialized level. Uh, we know now, uh, in the 19th century, let us start like this, in the 19th century it was meant that microorganisms are enemies of humanity and uh, the, the whole uh, scientific work was to suppress, like, to suppress them. Uh, but now we know that without microorganisms there is no life on the earth. Even the human body has two kilograms of microorganisms, which is a huge amount if you think that they are microscopic uh, beings and uh, very light. Uh, so there, there are the elemental beings who are capable to transfer the impulses, life impulses of Gaia towards the manifested world and on the other side are the microorganisms that uh, are able to uh, infiltrate these impulses into all uh, the, the different extensions of life. But then there are also viruses. Now we, we confront another uh, kind of beings. Uh, viruses in Latin means the, the poisonous ones. It comes from veleno, poisonous. So again we have the same uh, pattern, the, the pattern of the uh, ki killing. We, we see the, the, the viruses as our enemies that, that, and we develop a, a huge uh, pharmaceutic industry to kill them and uh, push them out of our bodies. This is again a wrong attitude. Viruses are um, even smaller than the microorganisms, so they, they do not relate to elemental beings, but they relate to what we call dragons. Dragons, dragons representing the primeval creative powers of Gaia. So, uh, without the dragons, the, the worlds would not exist uh, because they are the, the primeval uh, uh, building material for uh, all kinds of reality, visible and invisible. But following the same, the same law, also the, the dragons need to be... Uh, present in, in the physical world, in the manifested world. So viruses are those beings that uh, can translate the impulses, uh, world building impulses of uh, dragons into the manifesting, the physical world. So without the presence of viruses, we could not exist. Uh, the problem is that uh, we fear dragons. We, we fear these primeval forces because uh, w when we accept them, then our uh, small, uh, closed world will fall apart. We'll have to open to the bigger uh, picture. And by... Uh, fighting against viruses, we fight against dragons. In effect, we fight against the possibility that the, the primeval powers would again have their, their 
original role in, in the creation, also in Gaia's creation and in the uh, existence of the materialized world. What to do? I, I believe the, the path leads towards recognizing that we are also embodiment of these primeval powers of creation, that this powers, it power, primordial, primordial power is also within ourselves. And we need to open uh, it, it, to it and allow it to stream through, not just through, through our bodies, but, but also through our creations and uh, make possible communication with the parallel worlds. I think th there is no way around this task that is now that now we are facing because the, the uh, earth changes can be successful so that we will not be uh, destroyed as the earth, Gaia, human world, animals, plants. The only possibility is that we allow the primeval powers to change our world and to change us. I can propose an exercise that can help to, to integrate these primeval powers uh, within your body and presence. Um, the problem with the dragon uh, or virus is within uh, our body is that we t try to push them down to the bottom of uh, our uh, pelvic cavity, to the bottom of our belly. Uh, so that they uh, could not uh, make troubles to us. <clears throat> but this is a wrong attitude because through this we become weak and um, uh, I, viruses can uh, much easier uh, to develop their negative role because viruses have also the so-called so negative role which means to destroy something that is not true and does not belong to life. So to, now we need to uh, support their positive <coughs> role in, in our body. And <coughs> for this I propose follow, following exercise, that you allow uh, the viruses, you, you, you can um, imagine... Uh, uh, microscopic uh, stars uh, or um, sparks. Maybe sparks is a, a good uh, image. Uh, imagine that the uh, sparks, um, light sparks, uh, are moving in, in a spiral within your belly space. Um, uh, representing this primeval power and <clears throat> at one point you allow them to ascend to your uh, elemental heart. Elemental heart is a fractal, a holographic piece of the heart of uh, Gaia, of Gaia consciousness that is located at the end of the breastbone, uh, lower end of the breastbone. So, allow, the, allow this, uh, let us say, blue, not red, it's not good, uh, blue uh, sparks to ascend to your uh, elemental heart and uh, create their uh, focus. And from there, allow them to enter your heart center, your heart center which means to, to touch the primeval atom of life that is within our heart. And don't close them there, but from there open and uh, 
uh, give into the world the, the message that the primeval powers of Gaia and the universe belong to the center of creation and that they make the creation possible. Imagine blue rays going out of your heart into the world to all beings around you and far away. Thank you. A little addition, please. Um, because there, there is uh, also another side of this story, and this is that there exist powers within uh, humanity, let us say, that, that don't uh, like the change, uh, this cosmic change to happen. So they uh, try to, to use each situation uh, to uh, oppose. And uh, pandemia um, is such a good opportunity for them to uh, uh, make uh, real their plan, which means to pull the whole um, evolution back to, to the old uh, closed earth. Um, so, so um, to be clear, they use the fear that human beings have uh, to, to the primeval powers, because in meanwhile, becoming a rational beings, uh, thinking logically, we we have. Um, found ourselves in a very narrow space, uh, seeing from the geomantic point of view or from the view of uh, energies that, that run through our bodies, through our, our uh, consciousness. We, we have found in a very na narrow space. And uh, we, we have, uh, as, as co uh, collective collective fear of these powers, if they would enter and pull us apart, maybe. And the, the counter forces that don't want us to, to go the path of change, they misuse this and uh, make uh, uh, images as you, you need to protect yourself from viruses and, and from uh, dragon powers because they are going to this make you ill and to destroy you and so they try to turn the the wheel of uh, cosmic evolution backward uh, and the, the healing of this situation is not to fear not to fear not to fear because uh, fear of many, many, many people worldwide uh, comes together into a big black uh, ball that, that uh, could smash us. Thank you.